Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to cover more updates coming here from Germany but as well from Austin. And the first topic we will look into is today um, not only the 4680 patterns, the new pattern for the 4680 cells but as well the new colors because as I know from on site in Giga Berlin we have seen footage of the new red already but here Thomas Pisch, um, a 3D artist, has illustrated how this new red will look like, but as well the new blue and the new silver. So please let me know what your favorite new color will be and which one you would choose if you could already choose that one in the order page of Tesla. So um, we're going to look into a picture here and we do see a very, very light red points. Um, a lot of small points like sand, if you have sand on the color here. Um, I do really like that actually. And uh, please share with me if you do consider this color as well or if you would um, rather go with the silver or blue version. Um, so this is um, covered here and this was on the side in Grünheide. It was the first glimpse um, we could receive very close up. And then Jeff Roberts yesterday noticed a new red um, a Tesla Model Y coming out of the factory. But as we all know, it's very dangerous currently to actually go with the footage very close to the cars. So we couldn't really um, check out if this is already the new red or still the same red as we know it until now. Um, we do know that um, Tesla might announce that once the Giga Austin event is done, because you always have to consider um, Giga Austin and Giga Berlin are launching pretty sim uh, similar when it comes to the time frame. And it might be that Elon is just waiting that Austin is officially open and then they're going to launch the new colors um, once that is happening. I would find that pretty a normal um, pattern here. I would find it fair um, not launching in Germany right now with the new colors already and then we have to wait for Austin. But launching with the new factories, new paint shops, um, it would be a great idea to announce that once um, the event in Austin is done. And as far as I know, um, a lot of social media influencers um, from Twitter, but as well YouTube are already invited as well for the event in Austin. So it's gonna be a very, very nice big event. In the meantime, we can look into the 4680 cells. And what I find interesting about that one is, um, Tesla was actually applying for a patent last year already, but now the patent is not only for the 4680 cell, it is a new patent here for the 4680 cells to go with the storage business. And this could um, indicate that they will use the 4680 cells as well for the Powerwall and the Mega Packs. And as a lot of people have mentioned down in the comments section, 4680 doesn't mean that it could be it could be an LFP battery with 4680 um, diameter, so with the size of a 4680 cell. So that would be possible. So they could do that with the LFP batteries and put them inside the power wall and the mega packs um, just with this different size with the 4680 um, size measure. So that would be actually possible considering as well you have the superchargers, the mega charges that we are looking at here on the left side. You would need as well mega packs all around that place. And in the future, the mega pack business is going to be insane. So to drive down costs by um, producing 4680 cells with the LFP battery inside um, would make a lot of sense, would make the energy business even more profitable um, or make it um, at least profitable at last. And this would be a very good indication where Tesla could go. Um, of course, this would indicate that CATL, Panasonic, LG, all the suppliers of Tesla will use this as well as we have been um, talking about over the past year that Tesla is working with them together to use this um, size of a battery cell to produce as well for the mega packs and for the power wall. So again, guys, this really indicates it's not going to only be about the semi, the cyber truck and the Model Y. It's also going to be about the energy business. As you're just looking here at the parking spot in Shanghai, 
Um, Vuva is still not allowed to fly over here, but we have new pictures and these pictures are showing an empty parking lot, which is a good sign at the end of the quarter here. Then we have this new building that they were working on, which is close to be ready to go. So um, China is still working, continuing to construct on site. The expansion is going well over there as well. So we have a lot of indications here that expansion is going well and Tesla is going to further expand production over here in China. Again, guys, um, I do think it is just a question of time till the European market is just going to be delivered by cars from Giga Berlin. Then we're looking into the FSD beta tester. Now that is great news for all Canadians. Now Canada has the possibility or Canadian Tesla drivers have the opportunity to be part of the FSD beta um, testing um, uh, group. And this is exciting. Lots of people have been waiting for that. I have also indications from Germany um, as we know that Elon Musk said that he wants to move the FSD beta testing um, to the European market as well. And it wouldn't be any surprise if that would be an easy way. No, it's not an easy step to do so. And I think um, that is something in general we have to expect when it comes to the FSD um, beta testing. So. We have indications that based on the safety score to allow based on the safety score to let someone drive this system might not be allowed in Germany. Um, that is again from a new person person I have never heard about. So we have to see how long it will take to actually launch the FSD here in Germany. So um, again, I think based on the version itself, it could be possible. But what was questioned is the way uh, Tesla is allowing to people to be part of the system. If the safety score can really indicate how someone is driving and if someone is really capable of doing an FSD beta testing. That was the question in, in place and we still have to find out how this is all going along. But we do know it's going to happen at some day. Um, it's also not clear yet if it's going to be based on European law or German law. Um, easy way would be if the European Union allows Tesla to do that, then German law is going to be having a hard time to actually forbid this system. So again, you see a lot of formalities. We do know about that. But at some point, Tesla will be able to do that. And we have been already saying that um, end of the year is very, very bullish if they would achieve that. So um, let's see how this is working out. So don't forget to um, go on my podcast, Tessie Supply. You can find that down below. I would really be happy to have you over there as well. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.